Hey guys, this is Robert Boozer speaking. Um, today my research paper is going to consist of Native Americans. I have three audience here. Um, the first one's oh, they're actually going to introduce you to them. I'm Ryan Norberg. I'm Paige Norberg. And I'm Beth Norberg. Alright guys, so first and foremost, um, Native Americans have been a part of our history for centuries. Uh, they've been helped form the United States in many ways. I've taken interest in this culture ever since grade school. I was always reckless, a hyper kid that would dress up as an Indian for Halloween. So in addition, I always took interest in the pride that these individuals have of their own culture. I met Native Americans before, and they have always seemed to represent themselves in a different manner, which, I, which, I, which has always caught my interest. I took the initiative to further my research about the values, beliefs, attitudes, and stereotypes that Native Americans have. Um, before I get into the values, beliefs, and attitudes, um, I'm going to introduce some history behind this culture. Before Christopher Columbus um, is questioned to the United States, the Native Americans, or Indians, had a larger population compared to today. According to the article, Native American Cultures, it was said that roughly 10 million lived in the U.S. Such a diverse population, this uh, Native Americans were divided based on their location and characteristics called tribes. Based on the article, Native American Cultures, once again, um, each tribe has its own unique history. As Columbus men came, and many others primarily from Europe, the population soon became to die off due to the diseases such as um, smallpox and measles that were brought over from the uh, programs and the people that Christopher, Christopher Columbus brought over. Moving into the 20th century, things changed for this culture. Land was slowly being taken away, and the government finally stepped into play. As said in the article titled The Indian Reorganization Act, it was passed by the government to enforce management of Indian land, which was called the Indian Reorganization Act, formed in 1934. Today, Native Americans' values, attitudes, and beliefs are different than the normal American family. The Native Americans believe that men are viewed as leaders, while their spouse was, were the caregivers and more of a stay-at-home mother. According to the article, Native American cultures, traditional values reflect the import importance placed upon community contribution, sharing cooperation, being non-inference, community, and extended family. A major way to spread this Native American beliefs, attitudes, and values are through storytellings that are passed on from generation to generation. Common values that were taught were those uh, were such as love and wisdom. A recognizable figure from this culture that all of us mostly know is Sacagawea. Um, she helped the expedition of Lewis and Clark to find the newly land in the West. This culture has been a help to the American people. Being a genuine and peaceful individual are all the qualities that Sacagawea has and that signifies the Native American culture. If it wasn't for the great leadership of these Native Americans, a multitude of events would never occur, such as Thanksgiving, as we all know, and that just happened recently. Just like any culture, we see uh, multiple stereotypes and misconceptions of a group of people. It is no different with the Native Americans. Society often catches themselves referring to the language and the culture of the Native Americans to be unintelligent. Movies and shows that have Indians as characters are always playing that goofy, not so bright person, um, you know, that typical wild Polish person. Um, author Gay Guy, I'm sorry, Guy Dusher wrote, uh, you are what you speak, explains that the language imposes a picture of reality that is different from ours. Their speakers would simply not be able to understand some of our most basic concepts, like the flow of time or the distinction between objects and actions. Based on Americans were raised, were raised, they play a big role in how we look at Indians. Seeing a limited number of Indians and not seeing them constantly, I think, doesn't help this culture to stick up for themselves. For themselves. This had led to difficulties for this culture to find a profession. One of the wild factors that I really um, found through my research uh, about the Native Americans was that um, I stumbled upon some information of a Nat Native American in a workplace. Uh, prior to her working profession, she went on to say how she was bullied due to, due, due, due to being a Native American throughout grade school and high school. Personally, I never thought someone would, would, would get teased by being a Native American because of their dark skin co color, their tone, or, or even their appearance or how they dress up. So fast forwarding to her profession, uh, where she has became a, uh, where she has obtained a leadership role, she would fall back to her native ways. A North Dakota University professor, Denise K. Lajimaduri, states, many modern Native American leaders 
point to tribal spirituality and traditions as inspiration and justifications for their positions as leaders. They argue that taking leadership roles is a way of regaining prestige and power that their ancestors once had. Native Americans always seem to find a way to connect back to their cultures. Something that was once taken away from the group of people never stops them to reconnect with their beliefs and traditions. Native Americans are a strong group of people who are tough to get under their skin. Dealing with so much throughout the years, they still manage to keep their traditions, values, and beliefs in practice. Throughout time, cultures have taken their land, but no one will ever take their pride. Um, I hope you guys learned a little bit more about Native Americans. Uh, as I, like I said before, I think um, they're really they're a really powerful culture, and they, I think um, they stand out compared to other people as well. So. Tune up some guys, thank you.